One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. What's up everyone, it's Tom Dizzo here. Uh, I hope you guys had a good day and also a um, great uh, training week this week. Um, yeah, we're coming into the end of April. Um, I think it's only tomorrow, uh, tomorrow 30th, uh, the last day of April and, and you know, that's it uh, for the month of April. I mean, it's it's been really slow in small caps. Uh, literally nothing is moving, so uh, we kind of tend uh, uh, you know, we kind of trade uh, mid caps and also large caps as well. Like basically, uh, <laughs> like almost everything it moves. So, uh, yeah, uh, today I just want to make a video on uh, one of my trades I took today, and uh, you know, hopefully you guys can you know pick up some good lessons from this. Uh, so I'm gonna bring up the chart. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> let me bring up. Yeah, so the one I took today. Uh, GRTX, uh, yeah, that was. Uh, this this one was pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, I I I will not kind of go over my uh, this trade because uh, you know there's there's really not much uh, for me to kind of go over. <laughs> it's just so funny this picture as you can see short here ten line. Right, cover everything into this uh, 940. So, uh, yeah, this one uh, in the pre-market was like, uh, I kind of shorted into this uh, view app rejects, uh, you know. But when it kind of took a little bit too long, and I, I kind of feel you know weird about this, and I said, okay, so this might be a trap. So uh, that's why I took it off, uh, you know. This is so, uh, so it's it's nothing here, uh, but. Uh, a uh, ten line was good, so I kind of remained patient uh, for the rest uh, until the open. So ten line was good. Uh, Showing into that pops. Uh, I, I was really maybe uh, ready to cut maybe after ten thirty or like uh, ten twenty five here, uh, but you know right after that, this is like the f the favorite kind of move that I want to see from the stock. Uh, you know pushing into this uh, pre market high. Uh, looks like it's going to break, right? I mean, and just broke like by one cent or something like that. Uh, this is like my favorite type of play. Like every longs who are chasing this one, anticipating it's gonna, you know, uh, have a breakout and then you know stuff right, uh, right away, right at the open like this. Uh, this is one of my favorite. So that's why I, I wanted to shorten into this uh, resistance. Yes, I could be wrong. Could squeeze more, but you know. The chances are right at the open. Uh, you can uh, you can tell that now from this volume, and also tons of overhead resistance. Uh, you see, I mean, you know, basically selling, selling, selling. You know, tons of here resistance. Uh, you know, 10, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13. I mean, there's a bunch of them, and yeah, and you know, I I I just didn't think that the stock would uh, uh, go anywhere except uh, it's trying so hard uh, in the pre-market it was just like slow grind and and there's really no chance for this uh, to kind of go higher because you know it has every chance for it kind of you know to go broke this one stuff you know and here stuff another one I mean it this is like uh, typical Kind of stock, you know, when you see something like this, when it's trying to push so many times and couldn't go higher, I mean, you know, that's uh, something's been telling you that supply is uh, uh, much more than uh, demands here, right? So uh, that's why uh, it's uh, pushing the stocks, uh, the price of the stocks down. So price action is everything. So, um, yeah, today the main trade I want to go over is BTX. <coughs> uh, this one, it's uh, yeah, it's a it, it it's a large cap, uh, not really an age, but this is more to me. Uh, like the way I like why I like this trade so much is and you know you could say probably the first red day, but uh, I I can see really the overextension from this chart, 
and I think it could offer a good pullback as you can see here uh, uh, let me put it here um, see one two three four five candle right when form I don't know 10 I mean you know this is not the real typical kind of first red day because as you can see there's not much volume in here right except yesterday and so that's why that move wasn't so powerful as MVS. MVS, you know, did a ton of volume here uh, on that move from 14 to 28. Yeah, you know, 100 here and two over 200 million here. So you you can tell that you know from the volume. Uh, so that's why it's more so uh, it's it's more powerful. Uh, but PTX, I mean, the chart looks just insane. I mean. Yes, uh, it kind of it went from five or ten to like fifty. I mean, it it looks overextended, but you know, it's not much volume, right? I mean, first start here seventeen twenty million. I mean, th there's not much volume except yesterday. Yeah, so when when I saw it yesterday, a big candle like this, uh, I know that. Okay, so the market's open. <laughs> uh, it's closed. Sorry, yeah, it's kind of confusing. Uh. So uh, you know when I knew that uh, uh, you know like the candle like this from yesterday was over 50 million, and uh, uh, I I knew there's long trap here from yesterday, right? So and I saw this type of uh, you know chart on the daily. I said, okay, so it could be first red day, but it's not as powerful as this. But I could get some of the pullback, right? When when it's uh, you know goes red, and so my thesis on this one today is. Uh, I think the 40, 40, 70. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. What was the close? I think four forty three seventy three was the the close, if I remember correctly. So this is like the red to green line. And uh, coming into today, uh, you know. I was kind of observing this in, in the pre-market and I said okay so this line needs to hold right uh, I mean if it's uh, uh, holding above this line and breaks this uh, likely it's gonna go higher right so uh, you know likely I have to kind of avoid so I look at my share in the morning uh, in, in the pre-market and, and I just basically waited uh, and I'm gonna show you here uh, yeah so uh, this is my executions uh, from this one uh, so Basically, I avoided all the pre-market once uh, because I, I wanted to kind of wait for the open, and also uh, I want to kind of observe uh, the price action, also how it reacts to that 43.73 uh, red to green line. So when I saw it push there, rejects, push there, rejects here, and down here, and and now as close to that open. Uh, as you can see here on this one, right? I didn't, you know, short it. I I had orders here like 4373 uh in, in into that pop right at uh, you know at, at at the open but it still couldn't do anything instead of tank right so I said okay so this is if like uh I want to see this squeeze right I think probably a lot of people are gonna chase this move and probably it's gonna squeeze back into this but you know I still have kind of benefit of the doubt like you know it could go to view app and then reject so uh, I kind of put my bullets there uh, near that 40 line right here and but you know it, it was just a starter right so I, I, I really didn't want to kind of use uh, any other size at, at all so uh, when it start kind of pop into this line and uh, I kind of wait for it to kind of reject first right before I add it added more size in into this so after right after this I think stock halted and I said okay so if stock halted and going back into this 43 line uh, near red uh, red to green line and you know if it breaks above this one 
I likely I have to kind of stop out and uh, you know if it's holding above that so you know like just keep in mind this is this was just a, 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 a starter and on something like this guys you know you need to give it enough range right I mean uh, like really have to size down on, on the first bullet here I mean you know like 40 I could easily risk like five bucks on this and you know especially at, at open so uh, you know right after when it unhold it kind of dumps you right here so it rejects here so that's why I quickly added my bullet uh, you know my shares I mean you know on on something like this the spread is just really nuts it's impossible for you to you know time the perfect entry or the right entry you know I like I'm, I'm really not trying to kind of you know worry too much about liquidity uh, because you know like the spread is literally like two bucks or like a, like a dollar or, or something like that so uh, I kind of put it there, uh, you know, if it hits, it hits, sometimes I, I, on this one I had to slap, right, uh, on this one I kind of put uh, bullets there, and so, uh, you know, it kind of adding to liquidity, this one I slam, I uh, just uh, want to get in after this stuff, and this one I slam as well, so, and, you know, after all that, it's just like, uh, you know, fantasy orders, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, so right after this, uh, it's, uh, you know, stuff like this, uh, and, and uh, when it was like, you know, when when it the stock gave me this kind of convictions that okay, so the stock squeeze here, right? If the squeeze is real, it should have get into that red, uh, red uh, you know, red to green line and squeeze higher, right? If the squeeze is, you know, real or if there's enough <coughs> people who are long it, but. It turned out to be, you know, like I think probably all the short, uh, you know, uh, sellers here are covering, and uh, you know, in right right into this stuff. So this is fits my criteria. Uh, like you know, that's what I thought. Uh, you know, the the stock uh, would do because after that wash, I wanted to bounce. I think it's gonna bounce back into this line and then rejects right, and the stock did exactly just that. And so that's why it gave me the convictions to add here. And when it gets into this below view app, I knew I was right. So I added more size here. And uh, basically, you know, I, I didn't mind uh, at all if it was a uh, chase or not uh, because I knew you stuck getting to this one, reject that, likely it's going to break this support. So I, I try to be, you know, as close to that support as possible. Uh, so I, I showed it down here. And the next thing, you know, I, I cover uh, uh, most of it here. And then I had some small bullets left and I said, okay, so uh, in this case, under view app now, I wanted to probably they're going to want to kind of uh, save it and view app reclaims as well. But I think on this one, it's, it's kind of hard. Uh, you know, I, I was hoping more like, uh, you know, into that view app a little bit. Uh, but uh, I had my orders here at like 39, uh, like 38.50 or something like into this support. 3850 uh, but it couldn't get there but instead <coughs> right after that uh, uh, you know kind of took it off and right after that and you know I, I, I was going to kind of cover uh, maybe low here at 34 at 35 when it start couldn't uh, you know start rejecting that view app right so I was uh, hoping for a crack another support here and then cover everything here but instead uh, I think chat room kind of pumped this one so pop it back, uh, you know, into that. Uh, I think my average was, uh, I think it was like 40 something like this, right here. Like r just really small shares left. And so when it chart pump pumps into this 40, and I said okay, so if it maybe gets above this line, 43, I want to just have like you know maybe 40, 41, 42 here. I probably cover, you know, uh, for for you know basically for break even on that uh, small piece left but instead try to push this one typical chart pump right and reject so that's why I added uh, uh, in, in, in into this one uh, here and basically at this point when I added more uh, like recycle my shares uh, this would be my stop like you know a dollar stop because my average was like 40 40 something here and then when I add this one yeah let's say it's 40 and I basically I basically risk like 50 cents to a dollar here but 
I mean, guys, you know, fifty dollar stock, forty five dollar stocks, and you're risking fifty cents, to even let's say even a dollar, right? The risk reward is just so good, right? And so I kind of added, you know, some shares here, and then when the stock tank more, I I didn't you see, you guys see I didn't cover because you know like. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.